It's YouTube Wednesday. Every now and then you drop a mask mold and that happens quite a bit. Um, and I, I dropped the mold while I was draining it out and it cracked half of the mold, it was a two piece mold. So we're just gonna mix up some plaster and uh, bond it to the other plaster of the piece while it's already still put together. It wasn't broken like a teacup in a million pieces, it had a few big lines and uh, that'll save the mold. We're patching it with five minute epoxy and then plaster. So we strapped it together to try and kind of hold it as tightly as possible and now we'll dremel lines along the edges of the cracks and then use five minute epoxy to try and hold it all together to try and kind of save the mold the best we can. I am bonding plaster to plaster. And when you do that, you wanna use a bonding agent. It's pretty cheap at Home Depot. Um, and there's one called Acryl 60, but you get a concrete bonding agent and fortifier. When I buy it, it smells like Elmer's glue. So I just use Elmer's glue. It smells just like Elmer's glue. And uh, it's, it's not that chemically different and I'm doing 50-50 water and glue, roughly 50-50. Go through. But this will be a nice bonding, so I have to bond to that mold to hold it together. I'm just mixing together glue and water. Almost like I'm doing paper mache, but I don't have the patience for that. Now it's like slippery, gross water. Okay, let's mix plaster. This is Ultra Cal 30. I'm not dumping it into the water. I'm letting it sift into the water. I'm letting it build up to where it sinks very slow. And it's gonna sink slower anyway because the water is thicker. We've added the glue. So the island method is not as clean and clear as it normally is or the uh, cracked earth because we have thicker water than usual. The bonder fortifier in there, either Acryl 60 or Elmer's glue, um, it's gonna slow down the absorption. It's kind of a plasticizer. It's gonna slow down the absorption. It's gonna fill some of the capillaries in the plaster. If you don't wanna make a mold out of this, it won't wick latex the same way. But um, you can, of course, uh, patch a mold with it. Okay, and I want it to be nice and thick. Because again, I'm, I'm just doing this as a patcher. I'm gluing a mold together that was a two-piece mold. I don't need it to be two-piece in order to um, pull this mask. And we're fixing a, a mold that I dropped. And right now I'm a little bit lumpy. And this just is not acting like normal plaster. It kind of stretches a little bit. And that's the, the bonder fortifier in it. Head the mold. And I'm going over the seam of the mold and I'm working it into the seam. Now we have straps on. I will eventually have to take these straps off. 
here's where the repair was. I want to make sure it goes on both sides of that repair. I'm just going into that gap between the two pieces of mold. And I want to make sure I work it into that crack a little bit. I really want to goop her up. Now the plaster won't stick as well to this five minute epoxy, but it will stick to the plaster as we have that bonder fortifier on there. Normally I treat this like I do somebody who is uh, prepping chicken to fry, trying to keep one clean hand and one clumpy hand. Sometimes you get two clumpy hands. Not much you can do about it. My goal is not to cover the whole mold. My goal is just to cover enough surface area where it's gonna stick. Any kind of glue, and I'm trying to do a glue here, um, is all about surface area. The water actually makes the Elmer's glue kick a little faster. And now I have two things happening at once. I have, you know, glue gets real like stringy before it, as it's drying. So I have polymers, link polymer chains linking together. And I have the plaster that's crystallizing. And all that kind of like makes a chain link fence to uh, help keep this mold together. We're adding weight. So, you know, you don't want to do this all the time, but this is a patch. I'm not putting on more than I need to. I can pull this mask, no problem. So I don't need to have this be a two-piece mold. So I'm taking the chance while I'm fixing this half that cracked, I am uh, welding these two pieces together as well. And if a mold pulls, no problem without opening it, and I, I prefer to, to put them together. And this is a very sticky plaster. Uh, again, it's, it's half glue. I guess it's third glue. So put them, put them right up here, upside down so I get at their dome, and I'll weld those together too. No point in wasting material. And I put it over the crack area, the, the split between the two pieces of mold, and then I'm overlapping about two inches, and that's gonna give me the adhesion that I need. Again, I'm increasing that surface area. I'm gonna wait five or 10 minutes. This will start firming up, and then I'll be able to buff it down a little bit more. Right now, it's still really sticky, which is weird for plaster, I know. And I'm just knocking off all those little points and stuff because now this will accept this treatment. This plaster is a little bit different because it's got Elmer's glue in it, so it's getting like some putty like properties to it. Thank you, Alexa. We don't have an Alexa here. I just yell it out and hope someone sets a timer. Okay, this is the original one. Same deal. I'm just getting those points off. And now it's getting firmer now. It takes more work to get the points off. I'll try my yellow scraper. Just smoothing. I don't want any sharp bits. You could miss with a little bit of water to smooth it back out. This is the plaster. It still has some clay-like properties, but instead of smooshing, it cracks apart. Till it cures up. Okay, I'm gonna give it 10 more minutes. I'm gonna go back and play with it again. Now it's getting to the point where I can just give it a little bit of a polish. <laughs> it's been 10 minutes since the last time. There's still some wet areas, but I'm just making sure that it's not gonna be sharp on my hands. So this mold, seven years old. This mold is less than a year old. And I don't know if you can see it, but I can feel that this mold has sucked way more moisture out of this plaster than this mold has. Monsters rock, monsters rock, monsters rock. 
my ringer. It's very thick, thick plaster. And I'm going inside of the mold. And you can see where the seam is a little bit worse than it should be right here. I'm just gonna plaster that. Take a brush, put that texture back in. You'll never know. Okay, that seam is set, so we will um, let this dry, then we can pour it up at our leisure. All right, so go ahead and powder and pull this puppy and let's see what it looks like. <laughs> Any issue from the crack in the mold? No. Not that I saw. Great. Go make stuff. Okay, shout out to uh, King of Halloween. Thanks for your support. Scare Innovations, a Texas haunt supply company like myself, and the Haunting Society of North Carolina. Thank you all so much, and go make stuff.